Welcome again to another video tutorial here at Vitality. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up free PBX with Vitality. Now, free PBX is the heart and soul of a number of different PBX platforms, whether it's the free PBX distro, Elastics, PBX in a flash, or others. So if you understand how to use free PBX, by itself, you can easily set up any of those other platforms. So first, we have to create our inbound and outbound routes, and we do that by starting off on the Vitality side with our sub-accounts. So what I've done is I created a PBX in and a PBX out. So I have an inbound and an outbound route, and we definitely wanna do this to make sure that all of our calls are routed properly. And then you also want to go to your DIDs and make sure that those DIDs are pointed to your inbound sub-account. Now, once we have the sub-accounts in place, now we can go over to Free PBX and get it configured. Now, notice on the sub-accounts that the login and password are right there. That is the name of the sub-account and the password. Those are the credentials that we're going to use. So we'll go over to the Free PBX side and we're going to go to connectivity and go to trunks. Now what we have to do is create an inbound and outbound trunk. So we can start with our inbound trunk. I'm just going to call that inbound and I'm going to allow any DID and any caller ID. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, any of these patterns. I'm ju I just want to make sure that uh, everything is, is in place here so we can have uh, everything work properly. On the outbound settings, I'm just going to put Vitality in there just because otherwise it's going to give me an error, but don't really need it. What we're going to focus on is the incoming settings. And on this slide, you can see the different settings that we're going to need. Again, we're going to need our sub-account login, our sub-account password, and the inbound server that we're going to use from Vitality. Now, if you don't remember what that is, go back to your Vitality portal. And at the very top of the page, it's going to tell us what those inbound and outbound routes are. Uh, right there, inbound 27 is what's assigned to me, so that's what I need to use. So I'm going to take that information and put it in here. So type equals friend, DTMF mode equals auto, username equals my sub-account for my inbound route, secret is my sub-account password, context equals from trunk, Insecure equals port, comma, invite. Can reinvite equals no. Host equals my inbound server dot vitality dot net. Yours may be different, so make sure you double check that. And then you have to have your register string, which is your sub account name, colon, sub account password, at your inbound server, colon, 5060. And then make sure you submit those changes. And then we need to create an outbound route. So I'm going to create Vitality Outbound here. My trunk name is Vital Out. Uh, type equals friend. DTMF mode is auto. Host is always going to be outbound.vitality.net. Username from user are going to be my sub-account passwords. Uh, trust RPD is yes. Send RPID is going to be yes. Secret is my sub-account password. Allow equals all. NAT equals yes. Uh, that may vary depending on your network configuration. Can reinvite equals no. And then we don't have any other settings down here. Now we do need to create some dial rules. So we can create some dial rule wizards here at, for different types of things. But instead of doing it in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our outbound rules. So we also have, let's see, we go to our outbound routes and we're going to create an outbound route. And I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible by allowing all caller IDs, no passwords, and going down to the dial patterns wizard and just selecting all of these different things so that I can make all kinds of phone calls, international information, emergency numbers things like that. And it's going to create all those dial rules for me. Select my Vitality outbound route. 
submit those changes. And then we go to our inbound routes. And we're going to put in routes for each of the DIDs that we have and route those to an extension. And once you've submitted all this, what you'll see at the top is apply config. So apply that configuration and you should be all good to go. So it's a little complicated in that it's a, there's more things to set up for each of the different trunks. Follow those slides that I showed early on. Make sure that you have all the correct information and that you should have very little problems getting FreePBX up and running on any of those platforms. Like I said, FreePBX, Elastix, or PBX in a flash. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.